This is brought to you by the Electronic Church of God, Arizona. Thank you. Welcome to the Lord Cares Ministry, August 15th, 2007, the middle of the month already. Well, brethren, the Lord Cares Ministry, one year with the Lord, day 227, Jesus heals the handicapped woman, Luke chapter 13, verses 10 through 17. One Sabbath, as he, that's Jesus, was teaching in a synagogue, he saw a seriously handicapped woman who had been bent double for 18 years and was unable to straighten herself. Calling her over to him, Jesus said, Woman, you are healed of your sickness. He touched her, and instantly she could stand straight. How she praised and thanked God. But the local Jewish leader in charge of the synagogue was very angry about it because Jesus had healed her on the Sabbath day. There are six days of the week to work, he shouted to the crowd. These are the days to come for healing, not on the Sabbath. But the Lord replied, You hypocrite! You work on the Sabbath. Don't you untie your cattle from their stalls on the Sabbath and lead them out for water? And is it wrong for me just because it is the Sabbath day to free this Jewish woman from the bondage in which Satan has held her for 18 years. This shamed his enemies, and all the people rejoiced at the wonderful things he did. In our fallen world, disease and disability are common. Their causes are many and often multiple inadequate nutrition, contact with the source of infection, lowered defenses, and even direct attack by Satan. Whatever the immediate cause of our illness, we can trace its original source to Satan, the author of all the world in our evil world. The good news is that Jesus is more powerful than any devil or disease. The letter of the law. Why was he healing considered work? The religious leaders saw healing as a part of a doctor's profession, and practicing one's profession on the Sabbath was prohibited. The synagogue ruler could not see beyond the law to Jesus compassion in healing this handicapped woman. Jesus shamed him and the other leaders by pointing out their hypocrisy. The Pharisees hid behind their own set of laws to avoid love's obligation. We too can use the letter of the law to rationalize away our obligation to care for others. For example, by tithing regularly and then refusing to help a needy neighbor. But people's needs are more important than rules and regulations. Take time to help others, even if doing so might compromise your public image. Fear God, keep his commandments. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Well, brethren, that's about it. Are you helping others all through the week? And even on the Sabbath? If not, I ask you to repent of that. And come and do the job that the good Lord set forth for you to do. And with that, God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. If you would like to donate to this ministry, please mail to COGA 13131 West Tucky Lane, Glendale, Arizona 
85307. This would be very much appreciated in keeping this ministry going. Thank you. Produced for you by Forrest Grote. Thank you.